Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a Tumblr theme. And for those of you who don't know what Tumblr is, let me give you guys a quick review. Tumblr is basically a mini blogging website where you can post up pictures, videos, quotes, um, text, pretty much anything on your mind. Um, six days ago I posted this screenshot of me working hard on this tutorial. Uh, a little while later, I posted one of my tutorial videos, and a little while later, I posted one of my favorite quotes. So that's basically what Tumblr is about. You could follow other people and get their um, information and their pictures and stuff right to your dashboard. But I'm guessing that you already know what Tumblr is about, considering you're already on this video. So with that being said, this is part one of three on how to make a Tumblr theme. Now, part one is consisting of designing the theme. We're gonna use Adobe Photoshop to design this theme. Now, this isn't really a necessity, but it does help give me a better idea of how I want the theme to look for later when I'm actually coding it. Part two is gonna consist of the CSS code uh, to pretty much just set up the template and set up the content and the sidebar. And then part three, we're gonna add in the Tumblr loop and the Tumblr code uh, to actually um, make these posts and the content and the pages and everything appear. So with that being said, let's head into Adobe Photoshop and let's get started. This is what the template looks like when it's designed in Photoshop. It's actually really simple to make, but if you guys want, I'll provide the download link in the video description below. So you could just download it, open it up in Photoshop and just kind of tweak it to your liking. I also added guidelines. So if you see these light blue lines, these are guidelines to help you guys figure out where you want to place your things and how you want everything to be organized. To open up these guidelines, click on view and make sure rulers is checked. Now with that being said, I'm just going to delete everything and start from scratch. I'll keep the rulers uh, because I want to know where everything is and how I want everything to be organized. So to begin with, we have a background. This background has a hex code of 0182AC, and that's just kind of like a light blue color. So I'm going to press OK to that, and the first thing we want to do is make our main content. So I'm going to select the color white, press OK, and then make a new layer. So Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, or Control Shift N if you're on Windows, press OK. I'm going to choose the rounded rectangle tool. Um, it's located somewhere uh, beneath the text tool. And I'm going to click and drag from one set of guideline to the other set of guideline. And just let go. So now I have this rounded rectangle. Now, if I zoom in here, I left the top unrounded for a reason. I want the top to be straight, come down from the top, and then just have the bottom rounded. So I'm going to zoom back out. And what we want to do is double click on this layer. We're going to click on stroke, and we're going to add a stroke with a dark gray color. We want the size to be about 7 pixels, and we're going to click on the color with the hex code of 222222, and that's just a dark gray color. We're going to press OK, and then press OK again. And we basically just want to repeat this step for the sidebar. So make a new layer, Command Shift N, or Control Shift N if you're on Windows, press OK. Choose the rounded rectangle tool, and one of the guidelines starts at about 25 pixels down. We want to start from that guideline and then just kind of um, click and drag down to whatever height we find appropriate and let go. Now we have just this white and we want to add a stroke again. So we're going to double click on that, click on stroke, have the size seven pixels and the color with the hex code of 222222. Press OK and press OK. And then we're just going to move this layer beneath the main content layer. And this is what we have so far. Now, just to give us an idea of what it's really going to look like, I have my icon here, my Tumblr icon, and a header. So I'm going to click and drag this icon over to the template. And this icon is just a picture of myself. And I'll just position that like so. And then we're going to click and drag this uh, header PSD over to the template. And we'll put this above the template. And then just kind of position this to fit a little bit. And there we go. We have a pretty good idea of what our Tumblr layout is going to look like in the end. So that's it for part one of part three of how to make a Tumblr layout. This is Octotoots.com. Stay subscribed and stay tuned for next week's video on how to start coding it. I'll see you guys soon.